afternoon boys let us go further next point of this chapter the concept of moment of inertia to understand the concept of moment of inertia we have to understand the concept of concept of axis of rotation to understand this consider a rigid body we have seen the concept of elastic body we have seen the concept of rigid body this body is suppose rotating or spinning then different particles of the body revolves along circumference of different circles of different radius so this particle m1 is moving along circumference of a circle of radius r1 m2 second particle moving along circumference of a different circle of radius r2 similarly nth particle of mass m n revolving along circumference of a different circle of different radius r n but what is important thing important thing is that the centers of all these circles lie in a single plane single straight line such line is called as axis of rotation so this moment of inertia the physical quantity is defined as product of mass of each particle so this typical body consists of n particles of masses m1 m2 dot 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 m n and we are seen the concept of axis of rotation the distance between this center or we can say axis of this body and the particle m1 is r1 so masses of each particle m1 into distance square r1 square similarly m2 into distance square r2 similarly n the particle has a distance r n from the axis of rotation so this physical quantity moment of inertia is defined as the product of masses of each particle of the body and square of its distance from the axis of rotation that means r the symbol of moment of inertia is equal to m1 r1 square plus m2 r2 square plus dot 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 plus mn rn square summation so this addition we can show by a different symbol this symbol just like e capital e summation i running factor i running from 1 to n of m i r i so m and r both are running factors or we can write this as i is equal to summation m r square sometimes we don't write this running factor i only summation m r square so we can understand that this both terms are running so meaning of this meaning of this and meaning of this is same let us go further the si unit of moment of inertia clearly we can understand that this moment of inertia depends upon two factors mass and distance so mass expressed in terms of kilogram into distance square that means meter square so si unit of this physical quantity is kilogram meter square dimensions clearly we can understand that this i depends upon m and distance and the term t that means time does not exist so we can say that dimensions of moment of inertia is equal to m raised to 1 l raised to 2 and t raised to 0 now we see the physical significance of moment of inertia in board examination this is very important part normally a two mark question is asked give physical significance of moment of inertia that means what is the exact meaning what do you understand by the term moment of inertia to understand the concept of physical significance of moment of inertia we have to consider the comparison of formulae between two motions a linear motion and second is rotational motion we have seen that whenever a body moves in a straight line then it is called as linear motion on the other hand if the body rotates it is called as rotational motion so this first formula f is equal to m into a force is responsible for linear motion so this force is given by m into a similarly in case of rotational motion for rotation the important term is torque that means torque so torque is responsible for rotational motion this torque is given by the formula i into al alpha similarly in case of linear motion kinetic energy is given by 1/2 mv square similarly on the other side kinetic energy is given by 1/2 i omega square and third formula linear momentum 
is equal to product of mass and linear velocity. Similarly, angular momentum is given by product of moment of inertia and angular velocity. So, by comparison of this linear motion and rotational motion, we can say that force and torque both are similar quantities. In other words, I can say that the role played by force in linear motion is same as the role played by torque in rotational motion or we can say that force and torque are analogous quantities, typical scientific words, similar or analogous quantities. Similarly, A, acceleration in linear motion and alpha, angular acceleration are similar quantities. That means role played by A in linear motion is same as the role played by alpha in rotational motion. So from this table we can understand that this M and this I are similar quantities. Similarly here mass and this moment of inertia are again similar quantities. Similarly here also mass and capital I that means moment of inertia are analogous quantities. In other words I can say that the role played by mass in linear motion is same as the role played by moment of inertia in rotational motion. So we can say that as moment of inertia is analogous or similar quantity with mass. We know that mass is also called as inertia. We know that this concept. Everybody tries to remain its own state. It is called as because of inertia. So this inertia is same as mass. So I can say that this moment of inertia is also called as rotational inertia in rotational motion. So this is called as physical significance of moment of inertia. In examination question can be asked for one more. But define moment of inertia. State SI unit and dimensions of moment of inertia or question can be asked. Give physical significance of moment of inertia. We require this comparison table compulsory. We have to do comparison between force and torque and from this we can come to the conclusion that this force and torque A and alpha and similarly we can say that mass and I are similar quantities. So this table is important there and then we will get the full marks. So concept of physical significance can be completely understood from this table. Stop